everyone, welcome to Mystic Nick's channel. So today we're doing a timeless breaker card reading. We're gonna see who is sending evil eye or black magic on you who's being a hater. <laughs> and we got three options today. We're gonna start off with option one, black tourmaline. Option two, the evil eye. Or option three, the Palo Santo. So if you want to pause the video and choose whichever object you feel most called to, and then we'll see you guys at your pile. Bye. Hello, this is for everyone that chose pile one of the black tourmaline. So today we're gonna see who is sending evil eye or black magic. So I'm gonna put this over here and I'm gonna be shuffling the cards and just reading off what I get from them. So first thing, we're gonna use my zodiac little oracle deck to see. This could be your zodiac sign or this person's zodiac sign. So, who is sending pile one evil eye or black magic? Also, don't mind my missing nail. <laughs> Who's sending pile one black magic? Okay, we got Cancer, we have Leo. Also, if you guys are interested in this deck, link is down below. Let's see. And we got Scorpio. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some tarot cards and see what those say. So who is sending pile one, evil eye or black magic? I feel like this person is sending you it because they're jealous. Uh, could be jealous of something in particular in your life. Or this person just may be jealous of you altogether. For some of you with this world card, this person may be jealous of the way you look, your appearance, especially if you had a glow up recently. We have 10 of swords in reverse. Also hearing like, this person may feel like you're getting something easy or like you don't have to work as hard as they do. So this could be maybe something, this could be like a coworker, something at your job. Uh, or this could just be how they feel about their life is they feel like something, maybe your life is just easier than them. We have two of cups in reverse. So this, this is someone that you're maybe not talking to very much, or you could be separated. I'm not picking up like, this could be multiple people, because I'm picking up like a friend, maybe a coworker. Could also be two friends and a coworker. We have three of swords in reverse. could also be an ex as well this is someone that you had a falling out with though this person feels like ever since you had the falling out with them like things just got easier for you uh, maybe you got more attention or you got more money or something something got a lot better in your life after you two separated and that's why this person's sending you this evil eye energy i don't feel like it's black magic it feels more just like evil eye energy okay. we got king of cups we have a seven of wands in reverse If you have gotten in an argument with someone, this person may feel like whatever argument you two got into, they they feel like it wasn't fair. Um, maybe you ended up on top. There's something about like, just you, <laughs> this person feels like you're winning with something or just winning in life. And that's why they're throwing this evil eye energy towards you. Also hearing they don't feel like they're as interesting as you or like they have as much to talk about. We have 
dreams yeah with this card i'm picking up like this person feels like maybe you're living like maybe you have a lot of dreams and goals in your life and now you're able to like do so many things and this person feels like their life they can only just think about their future like think about their goals but they feel like they're never gonna reach it so maybe this person and seeing you reach a goal i don't know why i'm not this has to be more than one person because i'm not picking up like one person in particular someone this could also be a sibling this person also feels like they're in like a secret competition with you for some of you maybe it's not so secret maybe this person has said to others like they're in competition with you or you just get that vibe from them like they're not on your team they're on the opposite team and they're competing <laughs> okay we have judgment in reverse this could be a karmic which i yeah it definitely feels like maybe a karmic relationship this person is this person is like wanting things for themselves but like they don't want to put in the work so this person could be a, a little bit lazy this person maybe they grew up with parents that would give them things um, or they're just used to people handing them things but they're not satisfied with what they're getting and they're seeing you receiving more of something this could be like attention you're getting more attention than they are more recognition okay who's sending evil eye energy to pile one <laughs> yeah this is someone that you're not talking to maybe you found out they were like in this weird energy so you separated yourself Someone on here, this person could be a friend that um, maybe tried to steal, like, your man or your girl. Like, they tried to take something away from you. Something that you really cared for. <laughs> I talk crap about others. Yeah, this person's talking crap about you. Person's like talking down on your name, I feel. They're trying to make you look like the bad person or like like you're gonna lose. I don't know. Why does this feel like a competition or like some kind of game or something? <laughs> okay. Let's see who else. What else? I'm glad I met you. This could be someone that you used to live with or that you lived by. Something about your hometown, maybe you have the same hometown. I get jealous of the other people you hang out with. Yeah, we know you're jealous. <laughs> I'm using you for money. Yeah, this person I feel like uses other people for money, uses other just uses people in general it's not even for money like they just use someone on here it's like they use their parents or their parents like gives them everything it's like they get a lot of things handed to them so they don't have a very good work ethic and they see that you're you're hard working and you're getting what you're what you're wanting but they don't really see the work behind it they're just seeing like that you're getting what you want or that you're getting more than what they have which is causing them to send you like this evil eye energy but i don't feel like this energy is very strong uh so with the black tourmaline you could literally just like keep black tourmaline around you you could wear a necklace of this um you could even just like sage your house or cleanse your house or just do maybe if you feel like it's affecting you 
maybe emotionally or like physically i feel like you could just do like a bath with salt um like epsom salt or i'm also hearing even just like taking a shower and saying like as the water's going down like i send this energy back to wherever it came from and i feel like you would feel much better just doing that so that's what i'm saying for pile one hope that resonated for you guys if you're interested in a personal reading like it's down below the boy will tell me what you like about him you a turned a little thotty ain't no wife about it Hello, this is for everyone that chose Pile 2 or the Evil Eye. So today we're going to see who is sending you Evil Eye or Black Magic. So I'm just going to put this over here. And I'm going to pull some cards and see what we get. So first I'm going to use the Zodiac Oracle deck. If you guys are interested in this deck, it's available on my Etsy. It also comes with um, the Astrology House deck, which I also made. And these decks are really helpful if you're trying to memorize like the meanings behind zodiac signs and the houses. Okay, so who is sending Pile 2 Evil Eye or Black Magic? Okay, we have Cancer. Pisces. Virgo. So again, this could be you or them. I'll pull one more. Okay, we have Libra. Okay, so let's use some tarot. We're sending Pile 2 Evil Eye or Black Magic. Also, don't mind my missing nail. <laughs> okay, we have the Lovers. I don't know why. I'm hearing, like, um, maybe a business partner. This could be maybe... For some of you, maybe someone you're in a relationship. Something about like finances though, maybe sharing finances. Wow, four of wands, okay. This could also be, so this is either someone, like a love interest, a family member, or someone that you consider family. Dang, okay, the devil card. Strength in reverse. Okay, who's sending pile two evil eye or black magic and why? Okay, we got two of wands in reverse, the magician. I'm hearing maybe someone you blocked. So that could be who's sending you this negative energy. For someone on here, you could be experiencing something with your lungs. Uh, maybe like a lot of coughing. Someone on here, maybe your asthma recently got worse. Or maybe you feel like weird pains in your your chest or like your lung area or something like that we have four of wands again okay uh i do feel like this person this doesn't feel like black magic but it feels like evil eye okay we got uh how many wands is this? Two, four, six, eight, nine of wands. Oh my gosh, okay. Why is this person sending evil eye or black magic? Something about like them feeling like they need to be around you or wanting some kind of control over maybe this connection that they have with you. It could feel like things are not where they should be or maybe you someone on here maybe you didn't listen to them uh, this person i feel like is also jealous of your job you could be self-employed have your own business you could 
just be a, someone who's hardworking. Yeah, we have 10 of cups in reverse. Something about like you not being around or in their life. Maybe you're separating yourself from this person and they do not like that. This person. I don't feel like the energy that they're sending is like necessarily bad. I feel like this person is just in a lower vibration. This person with the double card could have like addictions or something. Something just about their energy is like lower, but your energy is more like a higher vibration. So I feel like that's why this person wants to be around you or wants to be talking to you is because of your energy. This person feels like they're lucky when they're around you or they get hearing like they they get better news <laughs> or uh things just seem to work out better when you're around okay let's see message from this person okay so this person's talking about you to other people again maybe this is someone in your family Picking up, it could be a feminine in your family. And then I'm picking up a feminine and a masculine. So this could maybe be like two people that you left out in the cold. You get so many opportunities and I don't. Yeah, this person feels like almost this energy of like losing out when you're not around. So this person's like mad that you're maybe not talking to them or you're just not noticing them or you blocked them. Yep, I judge your work. This could be someone's mother. Hearing a pushy mother. You always look so good. Now I'm picking up this could be even three people for some of you. Just saw 707, so that could be significant. I thought about reaching out. Okay. I don't know if this is someone that you stopped talking to or this person stopped talking to you. Um, something about feeling left out in the cold. You always make me laugh. I feel for the love interest, like this person just sending you evil eye energy because they just want to be with you. They don't want anyone else to be with you. This person I do feel like has a little bit of a hint of like jealousy though. Uh, something about like maybe you looking better than them or if it's not that like you're just attracting more people towards you which they get jealous about. It's like maybe you have a lot of options. Yeah, because we have the card, you get so many opportunities and I don't. So they feel like maybe you're not focused on them. Uh, if this is like a family member, someone you consider family. I feel like this person is also jealous too. This person I feel like is really judgmental though of the things that you do. Uh... This person may also have like some control issues as well. Like they want to be in control of things. There could be something with your finances that they want to be in control of. Okay, you're my favorite coworker, so maybe that's a coworker. Someone it's like a coworker that you consider to be really close to you though. It's not just any coworker. <laughs> Yeah, this energy, it's like they, these people, 
are like jealous of what you're doing and also like want to be a part of it but then they're also mad that like they're not a part of it <laughs> so that's what i say for file two hope that resonates for you guys and i'll talk to you later bye the boy will tell me what you like about him you a turned a little thotty ain't no wife about it i'm a Hello, this is for everyone that chose pile 3 or the Palo Santo. So today we're gonna see who is sending you evil eye or like black magic. So first thing, I'm gonna use my zodiac oracle deck and see zodiac signs. So this could be you or them. Also, if you guys are interested in this deck, it's available on my Etsy shop. And this deck comes with... Uh, the astrology house deck as well also don't mind my nail <laughs> that's missing okay we got sagittarius i'm just gonna go like this okay leo aquarius taurus let me pull some tarot. So who is sending pile three evil eye or black magic? I don't know. I'm seeing a vision of like maybe someone feeling really sad. Maybe your moods tend to really change. Like one moment you're feeling good. The next like you're not at all. There's something about crying though, so I don't know if you've been crying a lot or this could be maybe this person that's sending you this energy. So we have King of Wands in reverse. We have Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords. Okay, for some of you, this could be a person where a relationship didn't work out for them and i'm picking up that for a couple of you you could be in like a good relationship and this is someone that recently got a divorce with someone or broke up with someone and now they're like envying your connection that you have with another person even if you're not like dating them or in a relationship with them there could be like just someone that you're talking to and you guys get along really well yeah we got nine of swords six of cups yeah look at this there's like a guy in the background and he's watching a female and a male like there's someone watching you. This person may be sending you and another person that you're close to. Like, I want to say evil eye energy. This person feels like they're not happy. Whoever's sending it. This could also be an ex, uh, if that doesn't sound like you. This is like an ex that maybe has been crying over this connection. Maybe because you two broke up. Yeah, they feel like they, you yep, know, look at we got the lovers. They feel like they missed out on something with you. Okay, who's sending? Wait, let me use my other deck. Okay, why is this person sending evil eye or black magic? You, someone on here may get like this sudden urge to like start crying. Or like feel really depressed or like sad at random moments during the day. And that's you picking up on this person's energy. We got, okay, two of swords. And then we got six of swords so this person is trying to i don't know if they're trying to make a decision or maybe you already made a decision on this person 
or for some of you, like, this person just isn't sure what to do. It does seem like one of you has moved on, though, or is at least trying to. Okay, why is this person... Oh my gosh, we got Nine of Cups in reverse. This person feels shattered by... Sorry, let me fix my chair. Okay, this person feels shattered by whatever has happened. Like, they feel like defeated so that makes sense with why i was picking up like someone crying like i feel like this person is just like crying a lot this person is really sad we have a queen of cups yeah this person i feel like has deep feelings for you Something about the 18th may be significant. Uh, something about... Maybe this person... Something about feelings. Uh, maybe this person opened up and you didn't. Or the opposite way, maybe you opened up and this person didn't. Someone may have felt like they had to move on. Something almost felt, like, forced. Maybe you both didn't agree on this. Maybe just one of you decided to get up and leave. Like, maybe it was, a, yeah, we have conflict. So maybe it was a breakup that you two didn't really agree on. Like, maybe one of you felt like you needed to get away and the other one, like, wanted to fight for it. Okay, so let's see, messages, pile three, who's sending pile three evil eye or black magic. If this is an ex that you broke up with quite a while ago, like a few months ago, and you're picking up like maybe a lot of negative energy, I feel like this person may have sent you black magic. Cause there's also something about talking to like friends and family too like talking down on your name and not saying the nicest things to other people but if that doesn't resonate then i feel like this person is just like sending you like evil eye magic or evil eye magic <laughs> okay uh evil eye energy because they're just upset with the way things turned out this person i feel like wants you back Hmm, okay, I hope your vibe is so high it triggers me. Have you always looked so good? Okay, who's sending pile three black magic? You look better than me. Something about maybe having their throat chakra blocked or one of you did or maybe this person feels like they can't speak their truth now because you walked away okay i want to hang out <laughs> yeah this person feels blocked by you maybe actually you blocked them or you unfriended them but they just feel like they can't maybe talk to you they can't approach you i feel like this person is just getting very upset over this i wish we could hang out yeah <laughs> this person like wants to be a part of your life again they want to know what's going on with you see why is this evil eye or black magic though 
Why is this evil eye or black magic? Okay, this person doesn't want you to be single. This person doesn't want you to talk to other people. Yeah, this person wants to make a move on you. They don't want you to leave them. Usually black magic or like evil eye energy is because like someone's jealous or envious, but this is more like they just don't want you to leave them. This person may have some codependent issues as well or feel like they're codependent on you. I'm getting like a frustrated energy, like this person's getting frustrated at whatever this was happened and like you're moving on or you're trying to move on. Yeah, they feel like you make life really exciting and now they're just losing everything. Yeah, I'll do anything for you. Life is better with you. <laughs> person could be upset with maybe something you said as well. You really make this person happy though, but whatever this was did not make them happy. It made them upset. It made them cry. It made them not want you to leave them though. They could be scared of being alone as well. Let me see like one or two cards. we have you're too sensitive i feel like this person that's sending you this energy they're sensitive and i love seeing you <laughs> okay so this person's like like hating on you because you're leaving them it's not that they're hating on you because of something you I don't even know. <laughs> it's not like they're... They still want to be with you. They still want to be a part of your life. And they're just like sending this negative energy because you're walking away. You're ignoring them or you're just... They're mad that you're leaving. <laughs> um, if you feel like this person's doing black magic, like maybe it's... I feel like it could be affecting your emotions most mostly. Maybe... Maybe something physically. I'm also picking up like tingles, maybe like in your fingers or toes or something. I'm trying to think of what you could do. I feel like if you have anything of this person's like in your house or your bedroom or something, maybe to put it away. Like, if you have a picture of them or something, maybe just, like, put it away so you're not seeing it. Because I feel like that's kind of drawing in their energy. Also, if you're maybe thinking about them a lot, too, maybe try and not think about them so much. Because that's also, like, pulling on their energy. So then they start thinking about you and getting upset. And then <sighs> all this starts happening. Uh... If you feel like this person's doing black magic, I do see you could do a fire spell. Maybe write down like everything that upset you in this connection, or maybe just like a, like what I like to call like a, a funeral letter. So you write everything that you wanna say to this person and then you can go bury it or you can burn it. Also, maybe a cord cutting as well if you feel like you need to. That's what I say for pile three. Hope that resonated for you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading or one of my Oracle decks, link is down below. Bye, guys. The boy will tell me what you like about him. You a turtle, little daddy, ain't no 